Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I am back with some great news. As part of the Google My Business Suite, Google has launched a free website builder. Officially launched on the 13th of June 2017, this is a new tool, totally free, aimed to help any small business owner worldwide who do not have a website to launch a web page in a matter of minutes, giving them more visibility in local search engine results. And today I'm going to show you how to build a web page for your business using Google's free website builder. This new tool is accessible via the Google My Business interface, so if you haven't created a Google My Business profile yet, you will need one. You can check my video on how to add your business to Google Map, which should help you just do that. If you already have a Google My Business profile but are part of the 50% of small business owners who still do not have a website for your local business, then this video is for you. Stay tuned and I will show you exactly how to build a web page using the brand new Google My Business free website builder tool in just five minutes. Hi everybody, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to create a web page for your local business using the brand new tool Google has released as part of its Google My Business suite. Although this new tool is mainly aimed at local and small businesses in the developing world, it can be used by any local businesses who don't have a website yet and want to increase their online visibility at zero cost. A word of caution before we get started, this is not an alternative to a fully-fledged website but rather a step up for those who have a meager marketing budget and can't afford to run a website. This is great news for the small business community but it is very early days and it's hard to know whether Google will continue investing in this project moving forward. The website builder is currently lacking some key functionalities which I will cover at the end of the tutorial but is still an excellent alternative for those of you who don't have any budget whatsoever. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Before I get started, I assume you already have a Google My Business account for your business. If not, go and create one. Head over to Google My Business and log in using your business details. Once logged in, you should see your business details on the right hand side and a navigation menu on the left hand side. For the sake of this tutorial, I am using a dummy account for a fake landscape designer called the Landscape Designer Central. Now, let me show you how to build your web page. From the navigation menu, select the website option located right under the photo link. This will start the web page setup process. Once completed, you will be redirected to a new interface which also has a left hand side menu with four options to customize your web page. Interestingly, Google automatically loaded a cover photo and two additional images on the right hand side of my web page based on the business category I have chosen when I created a Google My Business profile for my fake landscape business. You can easily change it by clicking on the change cover photo option. Let's now look at the first option on the menu called theme. This allows you to choose a particular look and feel for your web page. You can pick a design from up to 10 different options. Your choice is currently limited to these 10 different options, but hopefully Google will release some more in future versions of the website builder. Choose the theme you want and click the tick icon at the top of the page to validate your choice. The next step is to change the copy of your web page. Click on the edit item option from the menu which will reveal four fields you can modify on your web page. They include a headline, a description, a summary header, a summary body. Except for the summary body, all fields have character restrictions and they are as follow. The headline can contain up to 80 characters, the description can contain up to 140 characters and the summary header can hold up to 40 characters. The number of characters include spaces by the way. As mentioned earlier, there doesn't seem to be any limitations for this summary body text. By default, the headline is the name of your business and the description is your category combined with your location. I personally would leave it as it is, but change it if you wish. 
Modify the summary header at will, trying to incorporate a relevant keyword to your business. Remember, it can only hold up to 40 words. The summary body copy is customizable with a simple WYSIWYG and allows you to bold, underline and italic text as well as include links, ordered and unordered lists. Use the summary body as an opportunity to sell your services, products and showcase your business. Moving on to the next option, photos. It looks like you can add as many images as you like and they will be displayed right below the summary body copy. There are five images displayed in a tile format. The most recent image you load will appear as the biggest tile. It is not possible to crop the images as they are loaded straight onto your web page. If you want to delete one of the images, you have to go back to the main menu of your Google My Business page and go to the photo option where you can delete images, like so. There is currently no option to do this directly within the website builder. At the bottom of the page, beneath your business images, you will find a map where your business is located along with your address, your phone number and the hours your business operates. This should be filled in by default. If you haven't filled in your hours yet, you will need to go back to the main Google My Business interface and edit your profile. Once you're happy with your web page, all you need to do is hit the publish button located on the right hand side of the website builder. By default, Google creates a website address for you with the extension .business.site. You can modify this if you want and once you're happy with it, just click next. Wait for a second and ta-da! You should see a congratulation message like this one telling you you're on the web. Click on the view side button and it will take you to your brand new web page. Congratulations, your small business is now one step closer to better online visibility. I must say I'm very impressed by this Google website builder, especially since it's free. However, as I mentioned earlier on, it doesn't replace a fully fledged website and there are some crucial omissions. For example, you can't customize the theme to the look and feel of your own business. I think it would have been quite nice to be able to choose the colors and specify the font, for instance. The WYSIWYG, which is what you see is what you get, that is available to craft the copy of the body of your web page is very limited and doesn't allow much formatting. It can be clunky to delete photos from the page having to navigate from the website interface to the main Google My Business interface. Most importantly, there is no option to edit the meta title of the page or the meta description, which is, I feel, a massive oversight. Finally, there isn't any option to add any social media sharing buttons. But anyway, as we say, beggars can't be choosers. So if you have zero budget whatsoever, this tool is a very good option, not to mention it is super easy to use. That's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, if you want exclusive techniques to drive more traffic to your site that I only share with subscribers, head over to rankingacademy.co.uk and sign up for the newsletter. It's free. Now over to you. Let me know how you got on with building your own web page with Google Website Builder. And I will see you in another video very soon.